Well, hello there, Crafty family. I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty. And tonight we are going to have a little bit of fun with tumblers. Yay! And you're probably like, tumblers? What is he doing? Well, as many of you know, even if you don't know, about to tell you, we have purchased the Caesar Romeo, the 20 four inch cutter so we have a new baby in the house we're gonna ring the bell for holla yes honey <laughs> so 24 inches of full cutting awesomeness i have been super excited to play with it uh, we've been doing projects with it since friday so if you haven't checked out the channel friday um, or Marilyn's channel saturday we've been doing a lot of things with the romeo and so I've done vinyl, I've cut rhinestone templates. Well, tonight, one of the things that I want to investigate is something that Patrick told me when we were up at the Wallapalooza in, um, at Heat Transfer Warehouse in North Dakota. And one of the things he mentioned is there is a feature in the Leonardo software that goes with the Romeo and the Juliet that allows you to create a custom template for different warped shapes, right? So like, for instance, and you're like, what do you mean a warped shape? Let's say, for instance, like this tumbler that one of the viewers sent me, absolutely love it with prints all the way around him. I love this. But this is a straight tumbler, right? So a straight tumbler, you pretty much know that the top area around is the same measurement the bottom area and then you just go up and down and you can make a straight rectangle cut out to make the template for this you don't have to account for any angles or anything whereas this tumbler is not straight up and down it kind of looks like it is but that's deceptive if i take it out you'll be able to see that there is a little bit more of a wider rim up top than it is down at the bottom so if I wanted to do a rep or some decals or a full decal on this, I, I don't I don't know how to measure that and make it work because I flunk math, geometry, algebra. I'm just saying. So he said that there is a feature inside the software that will allow you to account for these angles and make a custom wrap for it. So that's what we're going to play with tonight. We're going to try that. We're actually going to make a full rhinestone decal for, hopefully, for these cups. Now, Leonardo, the Caesar software for right now does not have a rhinestone feature in it. But, and all of the link, the link is in the description below. So if you go ahead, because you can get Leonardo without having to have the cutters. Just like you can get Silhouette Business Edition without having to have a silhouette. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead, get Leonardo, download it, play with it, but the plus version of the software or the, cause you know, there's regular Leonardo and then there's Leonardo, I think it's plus. Well, that's a subscription thing based. So it's subscribe. And then once you subscribe, you get the better edition and the better edition allows you to save the SVGs that you create in the software and take it over into another software program, which is what I was going to do if I can get this to work and make a rhinestone decal for the tumbler. Okay, so that's the plan for tonight. Hopefully we can get all of that done before the end of the show. Um, the only other thing that I definitely wanted to point out is tonight is the final night that you're able to purchase a premiere ticket to the Bling Fest that's coming up October 27th through the 28th. If you haven't heard of it, we're going to have a Blink Festival. Um, and then on the, the premiere ticket allows you to come into town, stay in your rooms are there. That's a part of the premiere ticket. Um, and you get a deluxe swag bag and you get dinner with the influencers who will be there um, on Friday night. And then Saturday is the actual Blink Fest. 27th is Friday, 28th is Saturday. And then you check out Sunday morning. Um, all of that comes with the premiere ticket. Well, that ends tonight. So if you've been thinking about it and you're on the fence and you're like, eh, well, you only got like a little bit more time. Okay. A few more hours. 
and then we'll cut that off. All right. So let's get into the chat because I know for a fact there are some babies out there other than Romy. So that's Romy, the Romeo. We've named him Romy. So I know there's other babies out there other than Romy that we need to ring the bell for. So I'm going to jump in the chat really quickly, hopefully, and then do some scrolling, see the babies. Hopefully Mr. Moonquacken's got them started for me to help me out. And then we will get started with doing um, our project. So we're going to go into um, Leonardo, the software, share screen. So as you can see all of that. And then we'll get started on doing our cups and stuff. So at any rate, Miss Carol Coleman is in the house. Hey, honey, buddy. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member because we do offer memberships here on this channel. So if you're interested, just go youtube.com slash the baby's booty slash join and you'll be able to join up if you would like to sylvia dinkins joined as well thank you very much for being a youtube who group member hello sharon davis hello welcome and thank you for being a youtube who group member hey miss lisa breckenridge and blessed and beautifully blended what's up thank you for coming to hang out with us tonight gail designs welcome thank you for being a youtube who group member Karen D, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And Becky Chisholm, thank you very, very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member and supporting our channel. Kitty and Doggy, hey, and I, I just finished reading up about that tropical storm. Please, everyone in the path, uh, because we have quite a few viewers in Las Vegas. You know, all of you guys, South Cal, South Cal, own up. Please be careful because that's going to be pretty uh drastic because of the amount of rainfall so please be careful when you guys are we're praying for your safety and hopes that everything stays safe no horrible things going on elevate artistry hello baby giant services what's up welcome miss ethel smith Ames. welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member and i'm including you and papa too i'm just saying tell them hi up designs welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member karen s welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member we got patrice williams hey honey welcome and then kevin moore who is a youtube hoop group member thank you and congratulations to you because you got your epson fifteen thousand up and running Holla! yes honey yes congratulations <laughs> Uh, let's see who else we got. Patricia Johnson, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Anita Omer, hey, honey, welcome. Here we got Patrice with Craftable Things. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Glad to have you here. Danny has been a member for 12 months, so let's celebrate that with her. Hello. Yes, honey. Danny Crash USA. We appreciate your support, my dear, for 12 months. That's awesome sauce. Just Craft Therapy, welcome. We also have To Be Young, Black, and Gifted, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yvonne Hudson from Cali, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Twyla, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. We got Knickknack Nurse, hey, honey, welcome. I need to email you. Keep, keep forgetting to do that. I need to do that. Mary Brown, hello, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I believe you emailed me as well. And I need to email you back. Um, you guys, we have been super, super, super busy over this weekend, so it's been crazy. Make it with Marilyn. Welcome, my love. Thank you for joining us. I had fun with Marilyn last night, so go back and watch that video when we're done. If you get some time, please watch that. We had a good time. Love Marilyn's template, and I knew she was gonna fuss. She didn't fuss while we were live. It's funny, but she got me back after the live, and I'm I'm just like happy about it. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to sneak it in on it. She ain't going to be able to resist it. So, Marilyn, thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. We got Tanya. What's up, Tanya? Welcome. Roxanne Wallace is also both of them, our YouTube Hoop Group members. Welcome. We got Miss Margo, Sherelle Green, Francine Townsend. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Precious Pieces, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And I'm going to have to scroll, you guys. Hey, Miss Lila Nelson is also a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Dimps in here. Hey, honey. Chris Smith. Hey, honey. She's a YouTube Hoop Group member. It's a lot of you guys. And I appreciate you so very much. We need to get into doing this because I don't know how long it's going to take me. Uh, because I've never done it before. I kind of wanted to um, 
I wanted to cheat. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to do this, you know, a practice version of what we're doing tonight just to see how it would turn out and all of that jazz. Um, but I, um, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that with y'all live just to see, you know what I'm saying? Because you kind of learn from each other. And sometimes it's better to learn when you see mistakes other people make. And I'm sure I'm going to make a ton of them. So I kind of want to do this with y'all. So that's why I didn't practice ahead of time. Um, before I get into this also, again, let me grab this before I forget. Um, because every week we have the rhinestone mechanic who is just so kind and has created designs, especially for our group, right? And so I'm going to show you what is available now um, to go ahead and get because it's there and it's available. Let me share screen because I'm going to have to share screen anyway here in a moment. So here is the rhinestone mechanic. The link is in the description below. Here are the designs for this week. So we've got Faith Family Football, Faithfully Turning Pages, My Heart Belongs to a Football Player, Dreams Do Come True, Born to Be Awesome. Love it. I love this because this is customizable. This is one of those designs where you actually can use it to make some money. And then here is a hope ribbon. And of course, you know, with the ribbons as well, you can just change the color of the ribbon. You don't have to change the design, just use a different color stone for the ribbon. And this can go with any of the awareness um, causes that are out there. So both of these are super customizable for your customer to use to make money. Absolutely love these. If you're in have a desire to use the rhinestones to make money to make to purchase more rhinestones. See what I'm saying? Y'all can make this work. But check out the football one. You can put uh this is one that you can take to you know uh the little peewee football teams on Saturdays camp out, out there with some some uh transfers and put the numbers a couple of different numbers out there or you can have this you can have the ball with the um, heart and the number sign already done. Like you can make up a ton of these transfers. And look, it's it's like roughly about 380 stones right here. But I mean, you it's not much more than that, fam. Come on. You could do this in brown, do the laces in white. You could do the heart if you wanted to, or you can do it all in crystal like you see here and then the heart. And then you can have separate little numbers you follow me? Separate little numbers with you out there. Fam, you technically, if you do it correctly, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but you technically can use like an easy press and have it out there and go ahead and customize shirts on the spot. You really could. It would be better for a heat press. It's better to use a heat press. But you see what I'm saying? This is how you can take a rhinestone uh, situation and take it and let it be custom on the spot. Or you can take the templates out there. You can brush these numbers in super quick and just line them up because you already got the football and the heart done already. Come on. Come on. Are y'all? Listen, Linda. Listen, 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 Linda. Listen, 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 Linda. A heifer is trying to help you make money. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. It makes no sense because if you make money, then that just makes me happy. I can, you feel good because you're like, somebody really wants what I have. It helps fuel your crafting obsessions. Okay. Cause I know you're obsessed with more than just stones, <laughs> even though stones is up top up there with the finer thing. But I'm just saying, I understand. And I know how it is when the family looking at you side eyed because you done spent up a bunch of money and you, now you ain't got no money. Okay. Screw, forget all of that. This is where we are now. Look, take this. You can make money with it, okay? And like I said, over the weekend, all these little peewee teams, the local uh, middle and elementary, well, elementary don't really have football teams and stuff like that. But your middle schools do, JVs and varsities and all that jazz. There's nothing on here that's proprietary that you have to have a license for. 
You just need to know the kid's number. All the moms would probably want a shirt. I'm just saying. With they chaps number, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, that's up to you. That's between you and the Lord and your rhinestones, okay? So at any rate, so that is over in the rhinestone mechanics. So click the link in the description and that'll help you get on that journey to get those designs um, that you can use to make money. So let's grab Leonardo. I'm going to go ahead and open up Leonardo Design Studio. And then um, please remind me at some point towards the end of our show today, because there's a lot of y'all like, Sheila Cushenberry is good about good about reminding me for stuff. I just closed out Leonardo. What in the whole wide world? Um, Sheila Cushenberry is good about reminding me. Mr. McQuackens is good about reminding me. You know, you guys remember I have, yeah, there was an earthquake. It was crazy. Um, Y'all remind me that I need to show you or talk to you about something. I meant to talk to y'all about it. I think it was Friday, uh, but it's been on me and it's been bothering me. And, and it's in, it's in regards to a local designer and ordering shirts. So if you have a business <laughs> selling stuff, like shirts in particular, hang on. I need you to hear what I got to say about that, okay? I really need you to hear that because that thing done grind my gears and it needs to be said, okay? Viola Floor has been a member for 16 months. Lala! Yes, honey. Yes. Thank you for supporting us for such a long time. We really appreciate it. And we're happy that you're glad to be a part as well. So let's go into sharing the screen again. Sorry, I had to get on my soapbox briefly. Um, and this is Caesar's Leonardo. Okay. So once you open it up, this is the home page and it says I'm enjoying a free trial of Leonardo Design Studio Pro. That's the name of it. It's Pro. So the Pro version right now, there's a free trial till the end of August. It's like a 30-day free trial. After that, there is a monthly fee for the Pro version. And the reason why they have decided to do the Pro version, I don't know the real reason, but I mean, they do continually update um, the design library that they have with all of these designs that you have access to unlimited to use in your projects and such. Um, so they, they're constantly updating that, constantly updating the software. So, you know, I mean, you know, they don't made us all with, they need help to make sure that we keep this all going. All right. So let's go to design. And what I want to show you is a feature that they have that allows you to take, let me take this down. Let me take this down. Does this work? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, I'll do it the regular way. So there's a feature in Leonardo, for those who are just now coming in, there's a feature in Leonardo that you should be able to just take some basic measurements of a tapered cup and make a custom wrap that actually fits perfectly with this cup based on the measurements. So like, here's another tapered cup. So like, I don't have, you know, uh, templates for this type of cup and definitely don't have templates for this one. So what I wanted to do was make a custom wrap to go, a rhinestone wrap to go with this cup. Um, and in order to do that, according to Patrick, the software will do it for me. So I'm excited to try this out and see if we can't get this to work, okay? So let's go back to share um, screen. And I thought this was pretty powerful, a pretty powerful um, part of Romeo, not Romeo, of the Leonardo rather, that, you know, is a selling point. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I opened up a, um, like a canvas so that we can do some work. Um, this is, if we go right here is send design. So that's where you send the design to your cutter. And then right down below it, there's a drop down box for the artboard. Let's click there. And this is where you will change your canvas. So like, for instance, we um, have Romeo and Romeo is 24 inches wide, but that's not necessarily the size of my media that I'll be using 
And then the media length uh, up and down is default at 12 um, inches. So that's if we're using cutting mat and then you can click on material roll um, and then material roll, you can do it as long as it needs to be. And I'm sorry, here is the mat. And it did come with a cutting mat, okay? And then you can hide the grid. This is a standard mat. They got some other sizes in there. Super cool. Print and cut job, all that jazz, okay? And I'm probably going to end up doing a print and cut job by the time we're done with this. But for the time being, I'm just going to work with the basic cutting mat, okay? And down here across the bottom is where we are supposed to be able to find um, where we can do the uh, cone shape, okay? So here's some text. Let's go ahead and just enter some basic text and we'll see if that's because I don't see the, uh, well, let me hold I don't see the shape and I got to remember where everything is because like, for instance, see how the pointer, the selector is, I can click on that, hover on it and there's a pop-up, but right beside it, I can't, it's grayed out. You can't do anything with it. And then there's eraser, then there's draw, then there's uh, shapes. And then here's the text, but then this is grayed out. This is grayed out. All the rest of it is grayed out and I don't need it to be grayed out. I actually need um something going on so right now i just did a square or rectangle rather i don't know how big of one i'm gonna need just yet okay so this four-way grid is warps okay distortions it says and the very last one is fit to cone so let's click there and here is the uh cone warp uh, box to show you what you need to do to get it to match your cup that you don't have a template for already. So let's see. It says di diameter and circumference. So there are a couple of ways for you to measure and they tell you what to do. I love this y'all because y'all know how I am with math. I'm not good at math at all. Uh, but they have illustrations to show you what you need to do. So diameter, you're measuring across the top of the cup. But if you do circumference, see the illustration changes. It's around the diameter. So instead of you taking the cup, you're going to measure across the top. But the other option is to take the tape measure that I thought I had right here beside me. Usually I do. And you just wrap the tape around the cup and read what the measurement is once it joins all the way around to the front. I swear, folks, it's just... So I guess I won't be doing that measurement because my daggum yellow tape measure is gone. So we're going to use this tape measure and measure across the top, okay? So this is... um Yeah, no, it doesn't have metric on here. This is imperial, so it's like inches. So we're going to start at the one end and when you measure all the way across the top of the cup it's actually three and a quarter three and a quarter i don't know if you can see that how well can you see that whoop, 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 whoop. there we go so three and you see where that other lip down at the bottom is hitting three and a quarter right okay so that's that part so we need to put that in on um the measurements okay so up here i did across the top so we're gonna say 3.25 for the top righty and so across the bottom now i gotta do but the catch is technically this bottom i gotta show y'all this too technically this bottom is not the right bottom because i don't want i know what i can do I think that'll work um, because this is the the metallic surface that I want to coat. I don't want this is rubbery at the bottom so that it's the non slip bottom part. And I don't want this covered. So if I measure this, technically, that's not going to be correct because see, look, that's tapered too. So I need this measurement here. So I'm kind of going to have to like eyeball it and then put that measurement in. OK, so let me see if I put the tape measure and look like I started right there at that edge like we did before at the top 
and then come across, it's actually three inches wide. And you can't really see it because of the no the slip grip bottom part. But I'm looking at it. It's like just just smaller, actually. Actually, it's more like two and seven eighths. But I don't know how to do seven eighths <laughs> in decimal. So hopefully, Mr. McQuack, because I know you take the eight and divide it by the seven and all that jazz. I ain't got time for that. So hopefully somebody knows what that is. All right. So let's go ahead and share screen again, because I know if I do um, the three inches that my mind is wanting to tell me to do, then it's not going to work. It won't give me the right sizes up there. So it would, but it was two and seven eighths because I got the, I got the cheater um, tape measure. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, and why is the screen not showing up? That's crazy. That was weird. Okay. I had to check that. But see, I got the teeter teeter pumpkin eater um, tape measure. See how it gives all the little quarter inches and thingies down at the bottom. So it was two and seven eighths, which was like right there is what the measurement of the bottom actually came out to. So 3.875 AJ! Woo! My helper, that's all I can say. I don't want to say what I was going. <laughs> all right. So is this different? Different? From the cornical wrap feature that's in Silhouette. I don't know, Sherelle, um, because I've never used the conical feature in Silhouette. But what I will say is they have actually, and why is this not showing? It's got a, why is my screen? Not? Okay, there we go. Um, this is actually specifically made for this very purpose. Whereas the conical wrap, I don't know that they, I mean, that could have been for some anything. I don't know. Do they have it where it breaks down and you can enter these measurements in and actually get what you want? I don't know. So unfortunately, I can't answer that question because I've never used it. Three point, no, 2.875, 2.875. Okay. And then the length top to bottom, no worries, no worries. Top to bottom is five inches tall. That is on the nose. So we're just going to say five. All righty. And it says add top mark. I don't need a top mark. Um, artwork size. I don't really care to do the artwork size because, um, you know, I'm going to actually make a full wrap. So let me see if how this is going to work. Auto position width. I want the width to be. I don't know what I want the width to be. You know what? Hold on. Oh, let's say full size. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. That's what I wanted. I want full size. And now let's hit apply. So this is the template for my pink cup. This is the template. So let's test it to see if this is accurate. Let's test it to see that this is accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to the Romeo and I need to put something. I'm going to use the cutting mat. Okay. This time I never used the cutting mat before. So we're going to use the cutting mat and I'm going to get some construction paper to put on or color paper to put on the mat to see if we got these measurements, if it did it like it was supposed to. Okay. So I'm going to hit send design, selected artwork only, move each color layer. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to say whatever. Um, here is the SVG. Now, eventually I need to save this SVG, but we'll get to that in a moment. So here's the SVG and we're going to say cutting mat. So I do have that standard mat 12 by 12. That's there blade tool. And I'm going to say use the cutters settings. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because the cutter actually has um, settings saved in there for certain materials. And so let's go take a look and see what those materials are so that we can get this to work and hopefully wrap around the cup like it's supposed to. So I'm going to switch the camera to the this one, I believe, over the top of the cutting machine. And then we are going to grab the cutting mat. Like I said, brand new, never, never opened it, never used it. 
And I apologize. I looked up all those measurements up and attached to my laptop so I didn't have to keep looking them up. Sweet. Um, oh, that's smart, Gail. I hear what you're saying. I need to do that. Um, it's brand new, never used it. So and I apologize. That's what I was gonna say. I apologize. I haven't been looking at the chat. I've been trying to get this worked out. Okay, so here's the um materials that oh they sent vinyl okay what is this one if that's transfer tape i don't know and then more vinyl this is black and i'm more than positive that's htv this is white htv and i need to look and see what this is but right now it's going to be to the side uh, Caesar high tech cutting mat, blah 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 blah. Perfect, it's a da, 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 compatible high tech adhesive. Okay, so it doesn't say what those pieces are. No worries. All right, and so nine times out of ten, most cutting mats come with a coating, which this one not coating a cover, which this one does to help keep your surface nice and clean. And now let's get a piece of construction paper which is going to be right here. I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna use this black. Hopefully it won't leave black on my mat. But it's, you know what, let's use regular paper. I don't want, I don't want no smoke. Alrighty. Hey Diddy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. More than one is fine. I don't have an issue with more than one. Um, so this says high tech. So uh, let me check and see if it's too much for this mat. That's not high tech. I don't feel like high tech. Anyways. So we should be fine. All righty. And then actually let me make sure where this goes right now let's see oh it is kind of sticky but not super sticky so i got it at eight by eleven let me come over here and move this nope that's right on the mat send to cutter and let me grab cut settings Oh, you guys can't see the cutter. Hold on. Let me move the transfer tape. And definitely, well, ooh, Lord, all kind of cleavage. My bad, y'all. I wasn't trying to flash nobody. Um, And then also want to say welcome to those in the bushes. Updating preset. No, I don't want to do that. This is what I want. Other. Let's see. Sparkle, twinkle, strip flop. Okay, so I'm going to have to see. You know what? Let's do. Let's do. Let's do what? Easy weed. Easy weed is cut speed 10, force of 5. So I'm going to turn that down. And it told me to feed my mat in this way. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I never used the mat before, so I don't know. So I'm going to drop the force down to two because this is super thin paper, okay? And let's see. Like I said, never done this before, so nope, it did not work. Hold on. I don't know how to load the mat, so this is new. Am I loading the mat wrong? I'm sure I am. Come on, fam. Look at the them rollers. Them rollers is just like, mm -mm. Line mat to the bottom and left. Like that, I'm assuming. Like this? Oh, the lever was up when I turned it on a minute ago. The lever was, was locked in place. It was, I didn't have it this far back. Is that how it's supposed to be? Yes. Okay, cool. Never used the mat before. So y'all learning too. Sweet. I like what we learn together. 
Okay, so hopefully, because I'm seeing the way it looks on the screen, so I'm going to send it like this, and hopefully that's doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, you know what? Let's go back. That's why. Okay. That's why I didn't do it the time before. I'm glad I remembered. Send the cutter. So if you have to pause, yep, that was right. If you have to pause, you have to remember to clear it out. So if you don't know that, I'm telling you, because I have had to learn that the hard way. Did it cut? Let's see. On a four, so I think I did what, two? Nope, it didn't. So two wasn't strong enough. So let's put it back on there. I don't care if it double cuts on that piece of paper. Thank y'all for letting me know that I didn't have it always load from the back till you get really familiar. Thank you, Veronica. Oh, shoot. Let me just go right here. Cut settings. So we'll go up to five. I saw it cut some. Most important thing is I see that it cut where it was supposed to. All right. Now let's see. Yep, there we go. Uh-oh. I still could have cut it a little deeper. Look at that. Because it didn't cut all the way through. So, and this is just a piece of paper. So let me get another piece. We learn it, y'all. Yay! I'm glad I didn't use that thicker paper like I started to. I really be on the struggle bus. And look, it left flock. I need to clean my flock off of the rollers. All right. All right. Do a test cut. I know, right? Seemed like I would have done that. But as I've mentioned, I don't. What do they say? Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, I'm one of them. All right. So let's actually go to a force of, it was almost there. So let's just go to nine. We'll go up four blips to nine. All right, let's see if that worked this time. Much better. All right. Yay. So 10. I need to remember that 10 is good for um, for paper. So I know there's a way to save those settings in there. So I'm going to have to look that up. Now, the moment of truth. I'm going to have to fold this because this didn't cut all the way through. I should have put it on 10. But at least with it folded, I know that's the edge. So this is the shape that it said goes around this. The wider part is at the top. So this is how I need to wrap it around. And let's see. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look. Okay. So it's not, it's not as wide as it should be. But look, the rest of it is perfect. The taper is perfect. It's just the this part isn't perfect. So I need to know. I don't know why I didn't do that. It did full. I remember it doing full, but it that's this must be for the artwork, not the whole cup. So I need to make sure that it finishes the whole thing. But the rest of it is perfect. The shape of it is perfect. The everything else came out like it was supposed to. While I'm over here, let me see where my um Wrap around tape measure. That's what I should have had to begin with because then I know it's going all the way around the diameter of the cup. But that's pretty cool. Try to remember the little test cut. That way you don't waste material. I know, right? All right, 10 now so you don't forget. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let me switch you guys back to here and then let's go back into. Share screen. And you know what's crazy? Because I looked at this and I was like, that don't look like that's wide enough. But, you know, whatever. 
All right, so let's go to, let's go back to design. And now that we're in design, let's go back to here. And is this our stuff? This up there, full size. Yeah, this is our same measurement. Okay, so the width, this is what I need to change because it has the artwork size is six inches, but I don't need it to be six inches. I actually need it to be all the way around the, the cup. So roughly 10 inches. Let's see how that works. Let's go 10. Oh, it won't let me do 10. Why? So let's go to circumference this time. So according to circumference, the top all the way around should be, I'm using the wrap around tape measure. So this one is 10 and a half. So we'll go 10.5. I'm trying to see if, um, why it won't let me do the artwork at the full wraparound of the cup. That's what I need to know. And this one is nine and a half. So this is 9.5, 9.5. And then the length again was five inches. I remember that. That's five inches. Add a top mark, no. The width, it won't let me change that. Auto position. I wonder why it won't let me change that. See, oh, look, it does show it missing that back part. If I had to just spun it around, I would have saw that. 2D unwrapped, okay. So I wonder, I wonder if I stretch it, if that would make a difference or not. Like, will it tear out, tear my measurements out the frame? You know what I'm saying? Change, let's say, easy weed cut and speed adjustment and save it to your desired instead of recommended if it is better for you. Oh, that's cool to know. What did I tell you? Hold on. I said 10. Let's see, we got to go with the widest at the top. And I said that was 10 and a half. So this is 10.247. So for mine, and 10.5. So for mine, I need, um, I want to do a full bling wrap. So instead of just a decoration on the front, I needed to cover the whole thing. So I don't know if this is going to mess with whether it'll fit on the cut with the other measurements or not. Technically it shouldn't, technically, but we'll see. Let's send the design. Let's send it again and make sure so that's 10 and a half so it'll go to 11 when i put it on the um mat take it all the way to the edge of the edge and remember we said we we're going to do um a speed of not a speed a pressure of 10 if i'm remembering us correctly so let's switch us back over to the table and now we'll do 10. But it was neat. The other the other fit. So hopefully this will fit too now that I've um, stretched it. I don't know. Never done this before. So, you yeah, know. We trying some of everything. All right. So, there is that. We got a force of 10. We got a cut speed of 10. We got our paper. And now let's send to the cutter. There we go. All right. Super easy, super quick. Look at there. Look at that. Look at that. Perfectly. I guess it could have cut a little bit more perfectly. So you probably could do a force of a little bit more. Say maybe 12-ish. So let's see if this fits our cup now. With me stretching it. 
It might not. It might have messed it up. I don't know. I hope not. But so far, I love working with the Romeo. It's been super cool. All right. First off, that is a little bit warped up at the top, but around the bottom. Uh-oh. So me stretching it, I done done something. Hold on. I need it to meet. Who is that? Sharon Davenport, you have a good night. I appreciate the super chat. Holler. Yes. Holler. <laughs> Thank you so very much for the super chat. And you have a good night, my dear. All right. So we see I have. So somewhere my math is not mathing, which I'm used to that. Okay. Because I suck at math. Um, but it's pretty dang close. It almost, it's almost like it did better when I use the across the top and across the bottom type thing. So this is tripping me out. Um, but the width definitely needs to be more than the six that it's giving me. So don't know, don't know what I'm doing wrong, but at least I'm getting closer. Did I flip the paper? Try switching top and bottom. Let's see. Was I wrong? No. Mm -mm. Flipping it made it worse. Flipping it made it worse. I only changed the top and not. No, I could have swore I changed the bottom. Hold on. I probably didn't, y'all. You know me better than I know me. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. But y'all know we all mess up. So. And when you don't know math, see, boys and girls, this is why you pay attention to math in school. Don't be like Eve and just say, huh, I don't need this. And then not pay attention because I loved English so much that I felt like I'd be okay with that. You know, fam, it don't work like that. So anyways, look at this geometry coming back to haunt me. This is so annoying. I swear it is. Okay. So let's go back to the entire screen because I definitely remember doing cones and shapes and all that crap in um, school. And it was annoying then and it's <laughs> annoying now. So here we go. This is not right. So I'm going to go back to diameter. So the diameter uh, again was, oh yeah, three and a, uh, 3.25. That's right. And then the bottom was two point something crazy, which I didn't have it written down like Gail does. So I don't forget it already. Yeah, two point. Yeah. So it's still whatever that was. Two point what again? Hold on. Let me scroll. So you ain't got to type it again. <laughs> I love it. Um, Let's see. Two point. Where did it go? Man, that was far back. Y'all been talking. I love it. Um, Oh, I don't probably pass. C says, I hate measuring too. Yeah, me and... Yeah, no. It, it's, it's not... Where is that? It's not where it is at. Okay. You know what I probably could have done was put two of them together, maybe? And made up that difference. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at that before we're done. Yeah, that was far back. Y'all was giving me the measurement. You don't probably gave me the measurement again since then, and I can't see it because I don't scroll back. This is crazy. Yeah, 2.875, probably. 2.875, thank you. See? I love y'all. <laughs> y'all saved my butt. What do you know? Okay, and then length, I remember, is five inches. And then the artwork, I remember I wanted it full size. But once we rotate the cup, look at that. Now, why is it doing that now when it wasn't doing that before? This thing going to make me fight. Okay, so the width, I wanted it to be 10. Will it let me change it now? No, it won't let me change it. So let's... Hmm... 
but this does give me something to work with. So 2.976. So when we bring that around, that bottom measurement is what needs to be bigger. It needs to, one of the sides for sure, needs to come back to meet this other one. So here we, what the heck did I just do? Hold on. Get it undo, okay. It looks like a hospital gown. <laughs> right, wrap the bottom and see what you get. We did the diameter, not the sky. I know we did. That's why I was hoping that by switching it, we would um, get something different. See, like the bottom here and the top. Auto position definitely don't want that. We did full size. So three point. Why did this change? That changed. That was not supposed to change. Oh my god. This changed. I don't know why it changed. I don't know why that changed. That was crazy. Mm. Mm. Measure the bottom opening that is shy and divided by two. You mean once we wrap it around the cup, that extra space, that triangular space, the bottom part of that triangle, is that what you're asking? We can. But wouldn't I need to do that after I wrap the cup? Hold on. That's over there on the thing. Who loves math? Say I. Ugh. Don't say that. Divide by two. Okay. So let's send this. We're going to send this, and then I'll measure it once we cut it out. Do circumference instead of the diameter. That's what I did the uh, second time, and it didn't do right. Hold on. Let's do something. Hang on. Let me clear this out. I'm going to clear this out because it was acting a little glitchy. It was keeping uh, measurements and then changing it? I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so we done reopened it. Let's go to um, design. We're in design. I need to do a, I'm going to do a shape just to put something there. And then here we go here. And let's do this. Let's do circumference this time like they suggested. So circumference at the top was 10 and a half. Let's see if it works this time. Actually, it's a little less than 10 and a half, but we're going to go with 10 and a half. Because, just because. I really prefer metric, but metric can be the devil too. So that's nine and a half. 9.5 and then the length was 5 okay and then here so they have the width is 4.331 another thing I thought of was just cutting this out twice you know what I'm saying and, and making it do what it's got to do but oh there we go now they're letting me Okay, so they're letting me do bigger. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this out twice and put it together and see if that works because it's not letting me go bigger than this. Okay. 
why not? We're gonna make this work. Let's go here. Let's see, where are you? Duplicate. Nope, that ain't gonna work, y'all, cause look. It gives us that what's a face, but it might can work. I don't know. Let's see. Because this is math, and y'all know how I am about math. The math ain't math. Is. Can we just do stickers? I know, right? No, I don't I don't want to do stickers. I actually, but we can let's see, send design. Don't separate. No, that's not it. All artwork. Okay. Because I should be able to put, yeah, I can. So I can put the paper, turn the paper the other way. And cut this out. Okay. So let's try it. We'll do two different, what we'll do is two different decals. That's what we'll do. Okay. And then that way it's, it's going to go most of the way around. But eventually, I'm going to figure this out how to do this, y'all. I swear I am. Um, I'm just not going to do it on camera with y'all for right now because this is team too much. Okay. Because we are ready at 10 o'clock, fam. And I'm doing nothing but cutting up purple paper. Okay. So, let me get my circle so I can get something to drink. And let's put this paper on here. I mean, in a way, I consider all of this a win because we're actually learning and we're figuring this mess out. Together, together. Y'all done taught me how to load my mat. We done figured out cut settings for... Um, 10 force, even though I'm going to bump that up to 12 for a um, sheet of just regular paper. Um, what else did we learn? All kinds of stuff. We learned that Eve doesn't like math, but pff, I already knew that. All right. Ta-da! Did that cut bigger? Okay, you know what? I'm not going I'm not going to learn a new language. I'm just not It cut off the um mat, but I could have swore I dropped that thing down so that it would fit. So at least Come on, fam. There we go. At least I know this should fit against the cup. On your design screen, if you use your with arrow to adjust to fix the whole cup, that's what I tried to do. See, it look, it's perfect. That part is perfect. But what I need to do at some point is get this the shape itself let me show you what i'm talking about i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about but i'm gonna cut another one of these real quick because even though that's a little over halfway so it probably won't wrap the way i'm thinking it will matter of fact here's the first one i already got a second one let's see because the first one was perfect it just didn't wrap all the way around right right Let's get you in place. And I'm going to use this because I'm not about to stroll with some slick paper. All right. So that's in place. Let's pull that up. Let's go here. Bloop. Okay. And this was the first one. Is that upside down? Yeah, that was upside down. Okay, and here was the first one that fit perfectly too. Okay, same measurements. Let's see if it, it does overlap. 
so it overlaps. I just need to figure out. Okay, so at least that overlaps perfectly, actually. So we know the shape thing works. We know the shape thing works. It's just once I bring the cup, the, the thing all the way around where it was a triangle down there at the bottom, I need to do that, that point and be able to drag that point over leaving the top one in place. You see what I'm saying? So that it would swing to meet it. And then both sides will go this way so that it'll come around and make a complete circle. You Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. My brain actually knows what I'm talking about, which is crazy because that doesn't usually happen. Um, And then it'll work. Tape it, cut it, and measure it. Shut up. That makes sense. That makes a lot of darn sense. Okay, so. But it's not going to work if I do it this way, right? Let me see. Hang on. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Because that would be like it was before. Okay, so if I put that right up against that and swing this around, it does still fit. Hang on, let me take this in place because it's oh, have me agitated. But my, I just, it, it's going to do what I'm saying in my mind, but I can't articulate it the way I want to. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? This is, it comes around and it does meet. Perfect measurements, right? You see that? The thing is, is right here, it needs to not be at the same angle. The angle needs to be different. So instead of it slanting the front way, it needs to slant the opposite way so that the sides of the triangles will meet instead of it making a triangle. I don't know how to explain that. See? So see how this one, this one slants this way and this one slants that way so that they come together and meet like they're supposed to. That's what I'm trying to say. I need to be able to grab this bottom corner that ordinarily is going to be over this way and drag it this way to make it all meet together. It probably wasn't, Miss JB. I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure it wasn't. So I need to get this to work. Um, but good thing is I don't necessarily have to. I don't, I don't know how to explain that. So then there goes the motorcycle folks again. So let's play with that because what I'm going to eventually do is make the shape work and then we're going to get the bling anything. So does the second cut need to be mirrored? I think mirrored, let's try mirrored. That might work, Chris Smith. That might work because at the end of the day, I just need that one side to slant the way it's supposed to. You see what I'm saying? Let's go back. And we're going to create this thing, save this SVG, and get this, this on the road. Because I need to talk to y'all about the other thing that's bothering me. I need I need to get that out. For those that are selling stuff, I need to talk to y'all about it. So let's share. Um, share screen. And so this, see how... See how that is? I need this bottom corner to come over to meet that bottom corner. And then somebody said invert. Let's see if invert. Oh, let's go back to design. My bad. Go back to design. I don't think inverting this will work. Flipping it. Other. There we go. Mirror, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. And then, even if I rotate it, technically, that all, but it won't because look, your curves are wrong. So, even rotating it, that's not gonna work. So, let's take this one off, and I'm gonna do what I did before. You remember the top all the way around needed to be 10 and a half, right. It was just below 10 and a half. 
this bottom corner, I just need it to come over. And I wish, let's see, is there a way to, yeah, actually, technically it is. So let's do this. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And then I'm going to see, can I get this point, this bottom point to come over to meet that? Edit curves. This isn't a curve, though. Huh. I didn't that work. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do, y'all. Okay. So until... Because there's not a way to do what my brain is wanting me to do. So I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to export the artwork. Okay. So here is the little thing that popped up. Selected artwork only, even though technically it should have been both of them. Include cut contours. I don't know what that means. So we're going to include it. And then I want it to be an SVG file, an editable SVG file. Um, I don't want any padding, none of that. So we'll hit save. And then I'm going to save it in my downloads. And we're going to name this Crazy Cup. Okay. All right. So now let's close this out because <clears throat> what I needed done in Leonardo technically was done. I just needed the basic shape for the cup, even though I didn't get the full basic shape. But to finish out everything else I need to do, I'm gotta, I got to come to silhouette anyway. So let's open. No, I'm going to merge. Merge in because I don't want a whole nother thing to come open. Crazy cup. All right, so boom, there's crazy cup. And now I need to duplicate this. So let's close that out. I don't know why that's showing up. So let's duplicate it. And now that I have it duplicated, I should theoretically be able to edit the points of this. Let's see if it works. And hold down shift, make sure it doesn't go. And now I can get it to come over to meet the bottom of that. Why this didn't come over, I would love to know. That's crazy. Why did it do that? That was crazy. Hold on, let's hit undo because I don't think that something I'm not, I didn't do something right. Nope. Let's do undo edit path, undo edit path, undo edit path. Okay. So let's go back. And I'm going to select this. Oh, maybe this is why. That's a curve. I need it to be straight. Convert the... This one needs to be straight. Delete point. That's... Oh, no! What the... Cuss? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I scared myself. All right, so this... Let's right click that again. Corner smooth. I need no, that's right. I need it to be a corner. And I need this to be a corner. That's a corner. Make flat, make curve. No. Okay, cool. So why is that there? Let's see if this is. Oh. Y'all look, fam. I'm about to fight all of this right now because I don't need this fella here. So let's do that and see if this makes the difference. There we go. That's better. It ain't quite. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'll rotate. <laughs> rotate 90 degrees to the right. Rotate what, fam? I don't know what. Oh, you're talking about that point. Are you talking about that point? Hold on. Rotate 90 degrees to the right. What do you mean rotate it 90 degrees to the right? There's the Kindle. What you mean? Oh, you know what? Let me try this up here. See if it makes a difference by putting it up there. Nope. It did not. Why is this dumb thing doing what it's doing, fam? Why? Where is you coming from? Why? Why? Why are you there? When clearly you're right here. I tried pulling that node to the corner. I did. And it turned into a darn 
what's the face man so here it is down to the corner there's probably another one over here is that what you're saying hey lita doyle But at the end of the day, you see what I'm talking about because it's a curve. Select all the nodes because it's a curve. Select all the nodes. But if I select all the nodes, fam, why don't you create a silhouette? I don't know how to create a silhouette. Oh, they do have this in silhouette. Shut up. Okay. So I will try to do this in silhouette, conical work, selected shapes. Inches. So this one was I don't know if this is the same thing. I know this one was 3.875, I think. 3.875. And then this one was, no, that's like 2.875. And then this one was, um, what was it? Y'all got me. This moment, the piece is not fitting the workspace. Turn the piece. Not, oh, I'm, I, I ain't got it to that point yet, my love. If I'm understanding what you're saying, 3.25. And then up and down, this one was five. And then see, it won't let me go, but 9.675. You see that? Can you tell? And then look, it rounded it for some reason. After you duplicate it, turn the duplicate upside down and try. You know what I'm gonna do? You 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 make a good point. Hold on. You make a really good point. Let's see something. Let's see something. You make a really good point. So I'm gonna duplicate this, right? And even though this is 10.448, so if I flip it, it does match up like what you're saying, right? The problem is I need this. Is that in there? Hold on. All right, and then I need this to actually, no, I need that to just go away. Because what I'm trying to do is make this angle out that way. No, it wasn't the bad size. It's not the <laughs> it's not the mat size. This is perfect. What I need, hold on, let's flip this back where it was. What I need is for this corner, this bottom corner right here, to just come over to meet that corner. That's all I needed to do. And then I can take this off. This will be perfect at that point. You see what I'm saying? That's the only thing I need this to do. But even if I flip this, it's still, I still just, all I need is this triangle right here. That's all I need. Yeah, well, you y'all are, uh, yeah, you're confusing. You're, you're not, yeah, no, I know what I need. It, I, I realize what I need. 
I need this corner to meet that corner. And then I can delete this piece. You see what I'm saying? Bloop, bloop, get rid of that. But I just need this corner. And that's what I was able to do. So I thought by dragging this corner. But when I drag, it popped this little stupid thing up and kept this from being staying straight. See what I'm saying? I don't know why this is bowing. That's annoying because that's not what that's supposed to do. Sorry, I was having a quick conference. Um, so yeah, if anybody knows how to, that line must have invisible points that are curved points. You can't drag the no, Karen. That's the problem. So whatever, delete that node. I tried that, and when I deleted the node, Miss JB, it made it bow out for some reason. Is there a way to? Is there a way, here, here we go, shapes collect the contours, node count, linear nodes. This is, so there should be one, two, three, four nodes. There should be no Beziers. So I muted it, sorry, because I was doing a consultation. So yeah, that's what I need this to do. Um, and I don't know why it's not letting me do it. <clears throat> because apparently there's something right here that we can't see. Make the node straight. Okay, but I don't know how to do that, babe. See, when I click on this, I'll, it's only popping up four nodes. You see what I'm saying? And I don't need Bezier nodes at all. Rather than delete, use the space bar to change from circle to straight. Okay, let's try that. So let me bring this back over. And let's click this again. And then let's click that one. And see, I don't know why this is, why is that saying? Which one is not a, which one is not straight? Double click to see the node. Double click and I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you know what? So what I'm gonna do because if I don't, my husband is just going to kill me dead back there because he's back there having a whole fit about it. And I am too. Drag the second one over most of the way to the left over the first and weld. The problem is, McCoy, I don't want to weld it. Because this shape doesn't matter. The only reason I have this shape here is to make sure that I just drag this corner over to that one and make make this fit this perfectly and then we'll delete this one so i don't need to weld the shapes does that make sense let me see something let me see something let me see something let me see something let me go back to this let's go to this let's go to duplicate and then let's flip vertically all right because, yep, that'll fit there. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this will make the triangle I need. And it does not, because that's not what I want. Nope, that ain't going to work. So because it's a cone, I'm thinking that's what the problem is. Because it's a cone, it's going to give me that curve. I'm trying to say something over most of the way to the left over the first. But if I do that, babe, it's not well, let me see. Let's flip it. You know what? No. Well, here. 
Nope, Miss Terrence. He is causing a problem with the. Let's see. Yeah, it's messing up the bottom. See how the bottom of it is taking away that curve. <laughs> she said she decided she ain't never doing a cone. Amen, fam. Amen. Flip it back, drag it all the way over, and all it's gonna do is just duplicate it, right? Mm -hmm. So I flipped it back. Here, let's help you. Let's help each other out. See, this is the second one, and I bring it over, and it's still not going to give me that shape to come out. Probably because, as we're learning, it's a cone. Let me try something real quick. Um, let's try making our own shape. Let's see if this works. Okay. So I'm going to start here. Nope, that ain't working because my, my art sucks, fam. If I can do... That's a cone. If I could just do a triangle... No, that ain't gonna let me do. Hey, Rookdale Poi. Take the line tool, trace each side, then lines together. That's what I was. Okay, so this will let me do it. Draw a polygon. No, I don't want a polygon, but I do want a straight line. So, let me cuss. Let me do that. Let's take this one and we'll rotate this sucker to meet this some kind of which way. I probably should have. Hold on. Let's make this where I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay. That's a point. Okay. Did that do right? Almost. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, so that's there. And I just need to duplicate this. And then we need to flip this that way, I think. Yep, and come here like that, and then I need a line to go from here to here. All right, y'all, this is this is what I needed. So, is there a way? I don't know. Let's take that off. Is there a way to weld this mess right here? Should be. We could group weld. Ah, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, had a moment. Weld. That did not work. Group. I'm just going to group it. Screw it. All right. So if I can get this, <laughs> if I can get this to become its own shape, it would be perfect. Okay. Convert to path? Maybe? Let's see. Nope, that did not work. Use the line tool. Yep, can you do a folder piece? Yep. Shift and group. Shift. And group. All right, shift and group. Is that it? Who else is on the end of their seat? Nope. Look, it's all separate. It's all separate. Look. I don't know what it grouped, but it did not group all of it. Let's do shift and... Nope. 
I'm telling you, we learn this off with learning stuff together. Group. Oh, you know what I can do? Bam. Hold on. I think this is going to work. So let's trace. I'm going to select an area to trace. Is this this is this is it right? Outline trace. No, is it not gonna trace it? Select trace area with the cuss. Take the second one and rotate on demand and cut the remaining off. That didn't work. That did not work. Move the bottom one of the left into the drive mode. That didn't work either. Okay, so convert to path. All right, that's something I needed to hear. Convert to path. I did select them all, so I thought. Maybe I didn't. My bad. All right, and so let's see. Did this work? All right, y'all. I'm officially annoyed, but this is what I needed it to do, was to add this piece. And now that I think about it, let's see. That didn't do anything. Oh, that's wrong anyways. Okay, now. So, at the end of the day, I just need this to not cut. So, let's see something. Let's ungroup this. And then let's ungroup this. And then let's remove this because I just need this to become part of that. So let's group this together. And I think it's not technically going to work, but it's going to work. I'm going to make it work. Because this is the shape that I need. Okay. Now weld. Let's see if weld works. No, weld is not working. Well, this being a whole butt. Okay. So, as you see, well, this being a butt. I don't know why. I don't know why it's being a butt. But at the end of the day, this is the shape that I need. Yep, this is the shape. So... Uh, let's do this part because what I was going to do was way more intricate than all of this. I'm not doing that now. Um, so I need, let's see, let's go back to SS6. Why did you do that? Let's go back to SS10. All right. And we're going to change this to tighten it up some. Hilarious. I swear. Okay. Feel. I tried to feel it. It did not work, y'all. I promise it didn't. I tried to feel it. That's why you saw me messing with the colors up here. It wasn't working. Because the triangle is empty now. I know. Y'all, I just, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not giving up because it's 1030. I can't give up. Right, not right now. So, but you do see what the attempt is. What I'm trying to do is create this shape. And I'm probably going to end up having to use um not not Photoshop. Um Adobe whatever the name of it is. I can't think right now because my brain is tired of trying to think. So, that's probably what I'm going to end up having to do is use Adobe and get this done, this part, to create the shape that I want. She said, you hear from the duration? I know, right? We officially have 189 cooks in one kitchen, but you're beautiful cooks and you're smart cooks. And we're all working together at the end of the day. That's, that's, I can't ask for any more than that. So at one point, I was going to put my name on this cup, right? And put it in this. 
I have since changed my mind quite drastically. I'll probably do it after the live because I really want to see this through and I really want it to get done. Um, but that's going to involve welding, cutting, no cussing, but, you know. Um, and so we're going to just use this for right now, actually. You know what? I'm going to use that, but I'm going to do that later. Let me get this from up here down to here. I'm going to keep that because I definitely need that. Okay, but I'm going to keep it somewhere else. Whoops, let's move you. And I'll fool, I'll fool with this later because I, I definitely want to use that and add that to this because what I can do, what my goal was, is I need to, where is you, duplicate. I need to duplicate this, right? And what I'm going, what I was going to do was put the bling anything on the mat and cut the clear bling anything with one of these. Then this other one was going to become um, rhinestones, right? So let's do SS6, let's grab this and... I don't know why it's, you know, being real jerkish right there. So let me take it back to SS10 because the SS10 actually acted like it had some sense. Okay. And then I can go back, hopefully, and take this shape and add my rhinestone thing to this. But this needs to be cut out as well of bling anything. You see what I'm saying? And then brush this in. And press it to the cup, but I need to get this triangle done too at some point. Okay, so that's that's what what the whole cussing plan was. <laughs> that's all I was trying to do with y'all tonight. All right, so while I send this over, because I do want this to cut, and I'm gonna save this. Actually, I'm gonna save this one, and I'm gonna save this one. And we're going to go file, save selection, save to hard drive. And I'm going to name this Cluster Cuss Cup. Okay. So now I can bring it back over into Leonardo, cut out the rhinestone flop, cut out the bling anything, bring these two together, and there I'll have a wrapped cup. Okay. Does that make sense? Because. At the end of the day, I'm about ready to fight. But let's go ahead and close. Well, no, 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 no. I don't want to close this out. Dang, damn it. Did it close anyway? It did. It's okay. I'll deal with this later. All right. And so let's grab Leonardo because I just lost my triangle that I worked really hard for. Um, let's go all apps. Let's go Leonardo right here. It's not going to pop up over here probably. Nope, it did not. So let's bring it over. Bloop. Let's go to design. Let's go to import file. Let's go to cluster cuss cup. Let's go to open and boom. Okay, so here's our cluster cuss cup. And because I, I'm not cutting this out of a piece of paper, it will fit, as you see, on the 12 by 12 mat. So this... I need to ungroup because I want this to cut separately. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change it to what? What can I change this to? No, let's change this one's color. All right. So that they'll cut separate. I don't want this to cut together and me try to figure out where to put the flock, where to put the this, where to put the that, right? So the only downside is I don't know what to um i don't know what to cut the bling anything settings so i'm gonna have to do a test cut for that one all right so let's go here all right yas i'm glad it started with the flock so do i want to use a cutting mat i don't want to use cutting mat and i'm gonna use the cutter settings or am i no i'm not that was a speed of 15. Come on. Speed of 15 and a force of 44. 
okay? That's for the flock, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put a piece of flock on the Romeo for this. And while the flock is cutting, <laughs> one reason you couldn't be a YouTuber, you got no filter, it's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and send this over. That's what I needed to do. Send to cutter. And I'm going to get you guys switched over to um, the table. And then we will cut the flock, put it on the mat. And then I can talk to y'all about what's got my goat, okay? That has nothing to do with a cone cup. Nothing to do with this cup. So what I wanted to um, go over you guys is... Um, as many of y'all know, I've talked about it before, that I've kind of like stopped necessarily taking orders. Like I don't take orders anymore to feel. So when people want um, embroidered shirts, well, I, well, I'm lying. I have one customer left that I've been doing work for anyway. As a matter of fact, I just finished an order for them. Um, so I prefer to not do orders because I, I just got team too much on my plate to be doing shirts, right? So my dad, as a lot of you guys know, um, he has his own t-shirt brand or clothing brand rather. And his clothing brand um, has just picked up a account, so to speak, and they're going to start putting his brand on their clothing, which is super awesome, especially for him. He's over the moon excited about it, and I'm excited for him. Well, <clears throat> what I started doing a while back, because his shirts, um, he wanted um, DTF on his shirts which I recommended to him because it just, it did make more sense to do DTF for what he wanted on and because of how many shirts he was wanting to have done. So I found a local company that was doing the DTF for us. Okay. And the local company did pretty decent. Every so often there will be an issue, but for the most part, um, they did pretty decent. They would print the DTF and then the DTF that they would print would be on a big wide, like a 24 inch roll wide roll and however long, however many DTF we wanted on a really long sheet. So when I would get it, I would cut out the individual design. Matter of fact, let me show you. I have one right here. Well, let me send this first so it can be cutting while I'm talking. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let me show you one of those rolls because I have one somewhere. Here's one. Okay. Ooh. So here is, here is one of those DTF rolls. Okay. And this is my dad's brand. It's no look. Um, is the name of it and it's a sports brand okay so just like this there's multiple copies of it starts here and it ends here and then I could cut this cut this one so it's three across and however many long so many of them and I just cut them apart and then we press them the shirts and we go you know Yay, easy peasy. I didn't have to do anything but cut apart, um, you know, DTF and then pre-press the shirt, press the thing on, press it the second time, and boom, we're done, right? Okay. So saying all that to say, we called the company recently and was like, hey, you know, we need more DTF prints, but this time because the same company offers the exact same thing. Um, I mean, the, sorry, this same company offers additional service 
where they will order the t-shirts and they'll press the DTF on the t-shirts for you. So you don't have to do it. They're actually a one-stop shop that'll do everything. They'll do your shirts, your embroidery, everything. But because I knew how to do DTF and I knew how to do embroidery, I was doing all of that. But now I'm not anymore. Um, my dad had them to do it. So he went and had some shirts done. And the shirts were T-shirts. <clears throat> and it was a left chest. And I'm going to use this little bitty shirt. As an example, because it's a little bitty, so it's easy to um, show you in this small space. So say, for instance, they wanted, he wanted a left chest logo on the shirt. Who in here remembers how to, how I show you an easy way to determine where to put the left chest logo on a shirt? Who remembers how I tell you to do that? So it works with t-shirts, it works with uh, polo shirts, sports shirts, it works with button-down shirts as well. It doesn't really work with raglan shirts and it's iffy with the uh, hoodies and, I mean, it can, it can work with hoodies too. You just got to be careful. But if you don't remember exactly, Miss Marianne, so you can take from right here the collar of the shirt. Collar of the shirt is going to be how far over you need to go to put your left chest logo. Because if you take any shirt, it does not matter the size. Any t-shirt. This is a youth, I think. Youth medium. I can take a 3-4-X shirt. Matter of fact, I got a 3-4-X shirt. Where is it at? It's right here. Can't lay it all the way out, but I can show you. I got a couple of them. Does not matter the size. This is a this is a 4X shirt. Here's the collar. If you go straight down this collar, that's going to be your left chest. I don't care what size t-shirt it is. That's where your left chest is going to be. Well, now, the other part to it, left chest, is not just uh, collar-wise. Hold on. Let me get this out of the way. Put this back because I, I don't need these dirty. This is another order that I do have. So, here's the, here's the left chest. Now, armpit is actually center chest. So, if you follow the armpit of your shirt and you... Follow where the bottom of your armpit is on a shirt and come around to the front. You're going to come across your nips. Okay. It's just, you're, you're, it's a center chest. That's just how it works. So you want left chest though. Left chest is above the breast. It's, it's on the top of the breast, above the nipple area. Okay. So this is not where you would put left chest. You would actually come up some. So that you I'm probably about two inches, roughly, roughly, to put the center of your left chest logo, okay? So that you can have a really nice thing. Well, the person at the t-shirt place did the shirts for my dad. He didn't look at them when he picked them up. And then he, they had the models wear the shirts on the runway. And my dad was like, he was so embarrassed that he just literally wanted to crawl into a ball. But because they did left chest and they did center back, it worked out because you could see the logo really big center back. But on the front, she said, the person said they went with the standard for the industry. I don't know what that standard is, but those logos were over here under the armpit. He said you could barely see the logo because the, there were and he wore one of the shirts here to tell me about it and he's right the logo was like way over here and she's like oh I did the industry standard and da 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 and that's how everybody else does it and da, da da but you're looking at the shirt he has on and you can see clearly that the logo is off fam you can see clearly that the logo is off so my plea to you guys is this. If you're in the industry of doing shirts, whether it be embroidery, whether it be DTF, whether it be vinyl, 
don't care. Whatever sublimation doesn't matter. Listen to what your customer is saying. Listen to what you're don't be so proud. Oh, well, this is industry, and I can da 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 because fam, you just ruined a couple hundred dollars worth of shirts, and you're arguing with my dad about it. And it's not just it's not just because he's my dad. It could have been anybody as a as a garment decorator. I'm heated for my dad and anybody else that would have to go through that in getting some shirts done. Why do I have to argue with you and I'm the customer? I'm showing you it's not in the right location. So please definitely make sure when you're doing stuff. And this is also why I tell you. So this to this, this is center chest. But say, for instance, your customer says, well, I kind of want it over a little bit. OK, I'll put it over a little bit. That's where you want it to look. That's where you want it to be. So, you know, have a customer put the shirt on and show you on the shirt where they want it. And that'll also help you out. You know what I'm saying? Because some some folks that the for me, the standard is left chest logo. But some people like a right chest logo. I'm not about to fight with no customer. And they say, no, I want it on the right chest. OK, cool. I got you, fam. And I'll do it on the right chest. I guess they do have their own industry standard. I, I suppose she was and she was adamant about that thing. And that kind of made me mad at myself because I had originally suggested pink tees and things, but for whatever reason I went with local and and now um we're having issues. So now we gotta go through pink tees and things, anyways. But I digress. The point that I would like to ask and make for all of y'all who are here with us. Please, 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 please listen to your customers and don't be so stubborn to think that you're always right because we're not, I know I'm not always right. Y'all saw that tonight for yourself. So it's always, but one thing I do know because of doing so many shirts over and over and seeing the mistakes I've made, this, this collar thing works, right? Right chest, left chest, the collar works because the size of your collar is going to change based on the size of the shirt. If you if you look at it and notice, I was going to pull that 3X out, 4X out again, but I'm, I'm not going to. The 4X collar is going to be bigger than this youth medium. A 6X collar is going to be bigger than the 4X collar. They make the shirt to fit the body, just like the armpit to do center chest. The armpit size of the different size shirts are going to be bigger. So you can't, you, you technically can't go wrong. The shirt is telling you where to put stuff. And yes, there's going to be some shirts that are made irregular or whatever. You know, they don't always get them all the way right all the time. But you can kind of look at it and tell for the most part that, you know, what what's what. But yeah, right here. Uh-oh, y'all. It sounds like it's clunking again. Because it was not clunking a minute ago. Let me pause this. Do I really want to go through this drama? Yep, look. Oh, my gosh. It is not tight anymore. And I tightened it down with the wrench yesterday. Crafting with Delanda. Hey, honey. So, pay attention I need somebody gave me the link to those O rings to stop that from happening, and I need to order that. But yeah, y'all look, the, the ring isn't tight anymore, so my blade has gone in. Tonight is one of those live cluster cuss nights. That's why this is a cluster cuss cut. Look at there, my blade is is in. You can't even see my blade. Look at that. You barely see that blade, and it's supposed to be out credit cards thickness. And I was listening and heard it start clunking again. Ain't that, y'all, I swear. Tonight is just one of them nights, y'all. It really is. But I've enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. Um, See, that's how it's supposed to be. See how you can see that blade? You couldn't even see it. It went in again. Hey, Delando. Yeah, this whole night has been a cluster cuss. It really has. Do I have a credit card back here? Not a credit card, but some kind of bank card. Nope. Now find me a bank card. Cause yep, my pocketbook ain't in here either. <coughs> so 
So I'm going to have to figure a way to lock this. I don't like that. I don't like that it loosens. So that's a kind of a negative the way this is made. I don't like that. And I'm not strong enough. I don't have enough grip. So I'm wondering, so somebody was like, put those rings. Is yours faulty? I don't think it's faulty. It's just the way this is, the way it's made. They're made to tighten. So this ring, you twist it, this screw rather, you twist it to bring the blade in and out. But that brass ring, the second brass ring right there, tightens the whole thing to keep this from going in. But it keeps loosening because either I'm not loosening it. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not tightening it enough which is insane because i did use pliers but i only use pliers on this part you kind of need something to counteract that to lock that in but i shouldn't have to use brute force you know what i'm saying so this the way this carriage I, there's somebody made um somebody sent me links last night for o-rings that would go i guess right here spacers to keep that space where it needs to be is your strip it, should, it doesn't feel strip at all and obviously that's something that happens with this type of blade holder because the o-ring is a common like she she was like you know just buy the o they already knew a solution and it was the o-rings so i need to get those o-rings and put them on here because otherwise i'm gonna have this issue again Cause I don't know. I can't, I can't tighten this enough. Here's the pliers that I used last night. But like I said, I only used it on the one on the brass. I didn't have anything to tighten to counter the tighten. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of sucks a little bit, but yeah, I heard it. That's crazy. I didn't do it that tight. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Yeah. It keeps loosening and I don't know why. So I'll probably try and order another carriage and then get those O-rings to see if, yeah, see, now it's quiet again. And I'm hoping I didn't, I don't have a card, I didn't have a card to check the depth, so I'm hoping I didn't have it out. Um, you know what, I could have used my, uh, I have a little microscope thing, is what I call it. This thing right here. And this helps set the depth of the blade in my graph tech. So you stick your blade housing in here and you can turn it until you see. And it's got a little, I wish you could look in there and see, but you can't. It's like a little magnifying glass and it has a grid on it. And you can look at the grid to see how deep to set your blade without having to go get a credit card. So it gets loud so we would know, yes. So what happens is what has been happening, and it only did it with flock. You see, it didn't do it with anything else. And I guess it's because of the pressure of using the flock. Um, I mean, the, the uh, tension against the flock. But anyway, what's happening is the blade is coming loose as it's cutting the flock. And then the blade goes back up into the carriage. So in order for Romy to put pressure, because it's putting pressure, I guess it feels the pressure of the blade tip. So as it goes in, it's trying to compensate for the missing blade tip. And you hear the housing clunk against the machine. It's going to clunk, clunk. And, and that's, you're hearing the clunk of the blade housing hitting the machine. Are you sure it's tight on the holder? Greg, I tightened it as tight as I could. I mean, like I said, I don't, I have arthritis in my hand, so it's kind of difficult for me to do super hard stuff. Too many round circles is unscrewing. It seems like it, uh, Sheila, I don't, that's the only thing. I, it only did it with the flop. I mean, I've only used this, I think this might be my, what, eighth time using it? And it's only done it with the flop. It did it last night with the flock. If you watch the the show last night with Marilyn, I was cutting the flock, and then all of a sudden you could hear it, like well over halfway through cutting the design, and you heard it going clunk clunk. You know, 
the O-ring may or may not fit because the blade housing for Solo is not the same size as the one for Romeo. I compared them when I had the Solo. Oh, I don't have a spare holder. I don't. I, don't. I, I have to order it Monday because I just got this uh, Thursday and used it for the first time Friday and used it with the flop for the first time yesterday. So yesterday with the flop was the only time it did that. So it, it did it with the flop. So try another blade holder. I'll try. I'll reach out and see if I can't get another one. Because it's just the red thing. That's it. And the screw parts. That's the only thing. Try using a mat. Well, I mean, the mat, it would do the same thing even if it was on a mat because of the friction is what I was trying to say. The friction of it cutting the flock, I guess, um, with that blade. For, I don't know why it was. It's only the flock that makes that gold, that brass ring loosen. So I'm still going to be cutting flock, whether it's without a mat or with a mat. You see what I'm saying? You use different materials and they're an issue. It could be the blade holder. I don't know that it's screw. But we ain't gonna worry about it. We're gonna get it figured out right now. I'm just paying attention to it. So there's gonna be some areas in here where the circles didn't cut like they were supposed to. Yeah, the pen gripper came with it. So this came with the three blades and the pen grip and then that blade housing. You had problems cutting the flop without a mat with the Romeo or the Juliet or with a different cutter. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was that late, y'all. Oh, that sucks. So what I'll do, well, it shouldn't take long to cut that uh bling anything. The only problem is I gotta figure out a setting for the bling anything. Um, and then once I figure out the setting, then I can um cut it and then we can, it won't take long to brush that in, even though it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be a full thing with the Romeo. Okay. Oh, that's for sublimation markers. Okay. What pen grip did you use for your, um, pins? You say the pit using a pen gripper, just measure the circumference of the holder housing it's your O-ring in that size. Miss Sheila Cushberry, did we have issues measuring circumference tonight? <laughs> I don't know that I want to measure the circumference of nothing else. Okay. Let me put this back because this thing is like expensive. Like you lose that and have to order another one and you're just real sad having to order another one. Okay. So this is the bling anything. Um... And I just need to, I'm wondering if this will cut on glitter setting. So we're going to do a test cut. I know, Richie, the time difference is a trip. And where my daughter is, it's 10 a.m. there on Monday. I took one of a pen that was assembled with a gripper and it worked. Oh, that's cool. I've only cut flock without a mat with no issues. I had my blade be become loose, but just retightened and it was fine. Right. So right now I just retightened it. I don't hear any clunking. But like I said, even with the one I did last night, it did, I'd probably say 60%, six, nah, 70, 70% of the design. And then it started clunking and I didn't realize what the issue was. So I didn't know to pause it and tighten it and let it keep going, you know, reset the blade and let it keep going again. Um, so it didn't cut all the way out. And I think I threw it away. Let me see. Threw that one away. Yeah, I think I threw that one away because I have the right one. Once we tighten the blade, it cut all over again and it was fine. So I don't know why. Uh oh, I was missing a thing right there but i don't know why it i don't know hang on with it 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's, it went loud. I apologize. I don't know why. But as you can tell, this is super quiet. Any additional issue when you start using mats. The only, and then the other, <clears throat> excuse me, Greg, the other dilemma that I'm going to be having right now by using a mat is I only have a 12 inch mat and this is a 24 inch machine. So until I can get a hold to a 24 inch mat, you know, I'm kind of, I prefer to work without the mat, but even then I would need to get a 24 by 24 inch mat. And that's a bunch of drama. And then I can't do longer than 24 inches. So whole point in me using this is to be able to do as big as I want to 24 inch by whatever, you know, and I mats are limited. <coughs> Not if I'm going wider. That's all I'm saying, Greg. I'm sorry. If I'm going wider is what I'm saying. Because I intend to use all 24 inches of this machine as soon as possible. Yeah, every machine is different. So, um... Oh, cool. Thank you, Richie. I'll check that out. Yeah, I know I can use any brand mats. I'd have to find the 24 inch wide by 24 long mat. Um, there is one I know. Um, somebody helped the uh, uh, oh god, Andrea T helped me. She sent me links to the long, bigger mats, but um, I forget what company it was that did have a 24 by 24 mat. I have to look it up again. But yeah, Greg, I'm spoiled. I like, I done got hip to the no mat life, matless life. Silhouette makes it 24. Okay. Okay. We'll check that out. Um, the no mat life has been good to me for the most part. <laughs> Michaels has them. Oh, sweet. I'll go check it out. I'll check that out. It's almost done. So we won't have too much longer. And I need the mat for this because I don't know. I'm going to have to do a test cut and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go ahead and use the mat for doing anything. And then I'm going to cut out that other shape so that this fits on top of the other, um, the other thing. Yeah, that's crooked. Matless life is where I want to be. Matless life has been good to me. You can say what you want to say. I'm going to use it anyway because matless life is where I want to be. All right. You prefer cricket mats? I wonder what... Is it, are they thinner or something? Is flop wider than 12 inches? Yes, Twyla. There's a uh, rhinestone world I know care or used to carry um, 24 inch wide. I don't know if they still do, but at one point they did. That has a backing like HTV, right? You should be able to cut it without a mat. You're talking about this? Yes. It's a, it's a non-sticky backing. So yeah, I, I'm probably, I'm sure I could, but I'm just going to be safe. And do it the Greg Barker way. And make sure. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is almost done. Thank God. And then there we go. So now what we'll do is put this on. I'm going to hang this off the back of this thing so I can make sure it doesn't tear up. Oh, you know what? Let me just cut it. Oh, no. That's going to be a waste. That's gonna be a waste. I don't want to waste um bling anything because it's not expensive, but it's not cheap. Okay. All right. Struggling a little itty bitty bit. And I know there's some of y'all that need to go to bed. I apologize for taking forever, but that's what happens when stuff doesn't cooperate. Okay, so we're gonna do a test cut. 
I'm going to go to, I want to say this will probably do, let's try the glitter. Okay. Let's try glitter and let's do a test cut. All right. Let's see how that works. It looked like a cut. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I need to put that shape on here. And then I need to learn how to line this and load the mat and stuff. It's just team too much. That. I didn't like it. Okay. Um, so, oh, select this one. And I know you can't see it. I apologize, but I'm going to move this over and hopefully it'll cut like I needed to. Save auto weed box. Use cutter settings. I hope this cuts like I needed to. No, let's see. Use cutter settings. No, sorry. And send to cutter. Cool. All right. Let's see if that works. Because the test cut worked. Yep. There it is. And it, it missed the thing. So that's good. I see it there. So perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. And as you see, it did not cut all the way through. So we did have our settings really good. All right, let's put this over here. I have to remember to put the cover back on it. And I'm going to roll this up to where the thing is. There it is. And then I'm going to cut just that. Right there. Alrighty. Yep. Okay. And make sure. Yep, I see it. Okay, cool. Sweet. Just trying to make sure I don't cut it. All right. So that's there. And we'll I'll show you that here in a moment. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and pull this apart because it should have cut. And like I said, there's gonna be a part where it's not gonna cut, it didn't cut properly. Yas fam. Oops. See, right in there, I'm sure is where it started acting monkey. I'm gonna see if I can't, you know, use something sticky and get that out. But oh man! All right, so let us use this actually and see if this works. Sometimes my cutting mat works. Okay. Okay, come through, cutting that. It got most of that out. Look there, you see it? Yas. Even though that means I gotta scrape this trash, but you know, I'd rather take that over complete failure any day. And that's even with it not cutting all the way like it was supposed to. Y'all see that, right? So maybe if I had uh, done that with the one I did yesterday, then we wouldn't be where we are right now, but it's okay. We take a lick in and we keep ticking. Get off of my hands, stupid dot. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we have these couple of holes and I guess I could try sticking it again. We'll get these last few out and let it weed itself. Yep, and it did. Okay. So this is a pink. I've been using a pink cup to show y'all, but what I'm going to do is switch to the teal color cup 
And then we're going to do the new Capri Sun color on the teal cup. Let me look at that and see if that's going to turn out super cute. Let me know in the comments if you think this is going to be super cute. Hang on, let me get it over here. <clears throat> so here is the cup. I have a teal one and a pink one and an orange one. But this is the Capri Sun. I think that's going to be cute. We're going to make it cute. Okay, so we're going with it anyways. With you. <laughs> My bad, whether y'all agree with it or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is what I need to do every time, but I keep forgetting to do it. So before brushing in the stones, I need to cut my, my transfer tape because I'm sick of doing it after the fact. And then I end up having to navigate around it to figure out the right size. So let's go ahead and cut this. Look at this stupid dot on my finger. Get that flock dot off my finger. And this is the, this was the, um, what's the face flock? The new flock, because it's got the grid on the back, okay? And he, Romeo cut it, Romy cut it perfectly fine. All right, y'all, so let's pour some of this on there. Let's get the bone brush and brush this in. And this is a new mix for those who may not have been in the house yesterday, last night when we were showing the new Capri Sun. Um, and we'll be working on the NFL mixes soon so that you guys can get ready for the upcoming football season. Um, get some mixes going for that. But this is Capri and Sun. So it is Capri, and my son came up with the mix, so it's Capri, S-O-N. So thank you, Unbiased LLC, for that. And even though when I came in the room and I was like, honey, guess what? Capri, son, S-O-N, and LLC. And he was like, I said that. What? I don't remember you saying that. My bad. So thank you to Unbiased LLC and honey. Okay. We got to give the honey props as well. Because he said, he said that. Even though I missed that memo. All right. And so this was, although somewhat of a daunting task, it was actually easy to do. Um, as far as once you get your measurements right and you understand how to connect the sides together you got to see firsthand how that works um i just gotta finish up learning how to get that triangle fused and once i fuse the triangle i'm gonna actually do this in what's the name of that program again i still never figured out what the name of the program was i know what the oh adobe uh illustrator Illustrator. I couldn't think of that earlier for nothing. All right. Let me get my bling pen. One of many. And fill in these little areas. And then after we fill in the areas, we'll we'll be done. I'm not going to hold y'all. If you want to see the finale, I'll post the finished cup on Instagram and in the Facebook group. If you are not a part of the Facebook group, I mean, what are you really doing with your life on Facebook? So definitely jump in on the Facebook group and then um, you'll get to see the finish. You'll also get updates as far as the Bling Fest is concerned. We do have a Bling Fest group um, right now. It's the premier ticket holders that are in there. It will be opened up after we're finished doing some arrangements with the premier members. Um, and then you guys... Anybody will be able to, not anybody, but ticket holders will be able to come in and hang out and discuss plans and whatever else you guys want to do. Because it would be cool for you guys to um, work with your outfits and stuff like that. Let's see. There's a place there. 
There's a place there. There's a place there. And this is really pretty. The Capri and the Sun together actually is super adorbs. Okay. And some of you guys already said some teams that this would go with. I don't remember what they were because I'm not a sports person. So I'm going to have to work really closely with Mr. McQuackens and my son. Both of them do sports type stuff. Well, you know, no sports type stuff. I don't. So I'm doing good to know that there's a such thing as no more Washington Redskins. I, I, I know that a little bit, but I don't know much else. Okay. Oh, and Carolina Panthers, but that's only because they're local. So, there's one, and there's one, and I think that's it. Woohoo! Oh, oh, nope, I see a double. And I see one missing here, so maybe that's where that came from. Go in there, I knocked that one out, that sucks, put it back. Okay. I think that's it. There's probably a double somewhere, but this is a lot of bling. So it's got me cross-eyed a minute. So let's move this out of the way. And I'm going to pick this up and knock whatever that was down. All right, so you take your transfer tape, you shape it. And go straight down. Don't stop. Keep going. Even if you miss. Okay. So you see I missed some stones right here on the side. No worries. Super easy to take care of that. Just get you some trusty old skizzers. And then you come on a side where there's extra tape. And then you trim off some. Like I'm about to do here. trim off some and then add this to over here so it will pick up those stones and just layer the transfer tape and it'll work as if it was one solid piece to begin with okay all right so now that that's covered let me pick up these stones because we don't want to leave a mess And definitely check them out. The Capri Sun is on the website, highfixfix.store, with all the other available mixes. So let's put that back. And so now that this is brushed in, I'm going to have a couple of stones that might be remaining behind. It might, it might not. Doing good, doing good, doing good. What? We doing good? Holler! Yes, fam. Yes, that's what's up. Why am I missing some stone right there? Okay, so let's move. And a stone right there is missing. So we'll fix that here in a moment. So here is the bling anything, okay? And what I did was I cut out the shape of the cup on the bling anything so that I don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to shape it. And unfortunately, it's hard to see where it is. So what I'm going to have to do is waste a little bit of this bling anything, waste a lot of bit of this bling anything, and peel this apart so that you can, you and I can see where the bling anything is so that when we go to layer the, there we go when we layer the stones onto the bling anything it'll oh no come on fam it cut the first time look at there oh there we go man i thought i was about to be real sad okay so there it is it did cut okay so you can now see hopefully let me see yeah see how it's glossy and then it's matte. The matte is the area where bling anything is not. The glossy is the actual bling anything. Okay. So let me straighten this section back out that I thought was going to be disastrous. 
All right. And so now that I can see where this is, let me peel this off. Now, remember, unfortunately, because I did, I wasn't able to get that triangle to turn into a shape. I'm going to eventually have to redo this. Okay. But for the time being, I don't mind keeping a not quite perfect cup just to show the process and what all we did and what all we went through is kind of like a memento. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am. I don't mind keeping it, even if it's not 100% perfect. So let's put that there. I see it's all the way up at the top there. There, there. It's a, is that a little bit bigger? It's a little bit bigger and that's okay. Because a little bit wider. That's what I was trying to say. A little bit wider. And that's all right. So it's not going to stick. Like these over here are not going to stick. I could take the time and scrape that off. I'm not going to because oh, I don't want to. All right. So now that this is there, I need to put a stone there. And then a stone there. And then we'll be done. Okay. So let's put one here. And technically, I need to put one at them corners, but. Those corners right there, that's annoying to me, but I ain't got the time for it right now. So there you are. And then one right up here. And the links for all of this, even the rhinestones, are in the description below. Okay. So now that I have these on there, the bling anything hot fix stones uh, stick to the bling anything. And then it turns it into a big old sticker. So I'm going to put this over here on the heat press that you can't see, unfortunately, because, again, I still have yet to fix that camera and get it back on. But I do have the bling anything on there. OK, so I'm going to press this. And then bring it over on the board so that you can see it. Let me slide it off onto the board. Because that sucker is going to be hot. All right. And so here's the, woo, here's the bling anything. I press the stones to it. Peel reveal for the Capri and the Sun. Okay, so that didn't stick because there's no bling anything right there. So it was actually two rows worth that I should have scraped off. So anywhere that there's no bling anything, look, stones are going to come right off, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Because there's no bling anything right there. So it's going to scrape off. Look there. There's some bling anything residue right there. So that's why. And see, this isn't scraping. Okay. All right. So now that that's done and see, look, there's some extra bling anything right there, but it's all right. So here's our cup. I probably should wipe this with alcohol. I don't have any. Do I have any alcohol nearby? <laughs> Wish I did. All right. And so I do have it's right here. You like the bling, but it's too much. Meaning you don't do rhinestones. Is that what you're saying? Or you don't do the bling anything? Or I, I want to make sure I understand. <laughs> Your rabbit hole sparkles. I'm mad I'm using my dress, but guess what? That's what I got right now. Okay, so here's the cup. And so now we can peel this off of the backing. And this becomes a decal for the cup. Now this is going to be, you know what, I need something to hold this. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is that going to work? Oh, you know what? I know what I can use. 
Do, 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 do. Roll up this side a little bit, roll up that side a little bit, and nestle you in the middle a little bit. Okay. All right, I need to make me a cup holder thingy, but it'll be all right. Boom! Look at that. Flip this side back so that I can wrap it around this side. Uh oh, we got some waves. Let's get some waves out of there. All right, and now wrap this around this side. So if you have it angled like it's supposed to be and lay it flat, then because we got the cone shape correctly. Oh, look, look, y'all, it did overlap. Shut up. I don't know why it overlapped, but it did. Look at that error. So I can cut this excess off where the overlap is and then it's, it's on the cup. Why did it angle up though? I don't know why it angled up in the air. I can see it on camera. I can't see it standing here, but I can see it on camera. It's like it shifted or something when I was laying it down. There we go. Still look like it angled up. The dip in your scraper is a tumbler holder E. Shut up, C. Lucushion Berry. Wait a minute. No. I mean, it's still kind of, it was wobbly. But thank you. I know that for next time. Use the scraper you have rig under the tool. That's gonna be so yeah. Sorry. That's the cup. And like I said, I got I can cut this extra so that it'll fit. But it actually did wrap around the cup, y'all. I don't I don't know how we accidentally was able to get that to work, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay. But it blinks. Oh, so this cup come from Walmart. And there's our tumbler. There's our tumbler. And you can even do the bling anything up here on the lid. Get the size of the circle. And then the size of the hole on the inside. And do a bling for the lid to match. This is rubber. So I don't think the bling is going to stick to that. But I got to cut that extra off. So yeah. And the Capri Sun actually looks good with it. That's crazy with that color. Oh, Capri Sun. So 1130, 30 extra minutes to, you know, have some issues and some drawbacks or whatever. But the link is in the description for the rhinestones so that you can get the finer thing rhinestones. Okay. The link to the cup is not in the description because I got these from Walmart. So look for the boba tea glass cups see it comes apart for washing or whatnot so that works because you can take this wash that and not worry about even though bling anything supposedly can go through the dishwasher without any issues but that keeps you from having to worry about having to wash this because this is the part that gets dirty then you put it back together and there you got a really cute glass for your boba tea super cute and I might would even go so far as to make decal letters to put my name around the top. I don't know. That's team too much, probably. But it turned out super cute. It really did. So appreciate y'all hanging out. Um, like I said, the link is there for the stones. The link is there for the bling anything. The link is there for Romeo. Um, the link is also there for Leonardo software, if you're interested and grabbing it and trying it. And then the link is there to join membership to our channel. And the link is just there for awesome. Could you use that in a Cricut cup press? You don't need this in the Cricut cup press. This was on the heat press. So you saw how when, when, I, when I did the bling transfer, it was flat. And then the bling anything was flat. So all I did was press the stones on top of the bling anything 
in a regular flat heat press. It was just like this. So no cup press needed at all. So you press it and then when you peel it off, it's like a sticker that's in the shape of the cup. Okay. And don't forget about your designs as well. Wonder if Bling Anything will work on the bamboo lids. From what I understand, the Bling Anything will work on any surface that a decal will stick to. From what I understand, it will stick to just about anything. Of a nice, flat, smooth surface, it should stick. Not fabric, because it's not made for fabric application, but a hard, um, smooth surface, yes, it should stick. Okay, so I'm probably going to bling out this lid too with some bling anything. So be on the lookout for a picture of that in the Facebook group. Also, when I trim off the extra seam, be on the lookout for that in the Facebook group as well. But meanwhile, thank you for hanging out with me. This was fun. Let me switch cameras so I can say goodbye as you properly. Because I appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Despite the challenges, I like challenges because challenges... Number one, show us that we're human. And number two, I face challenges so that you don't have to face challenges. So you already know what the deal is in doing a cone cut because I also want to bling this one out as well. And this is a cone shape. So I got to fool with that at some point in time so I can finish that cup and give it to the person I want to have it. Um, yes, it is easier to do a straight sided cup, tumbler, whatever. Um, and so you were able to see the challenges that were we faced for the um, cone shape. Also, we talked about doing, um, keeping your customers happy and making sure that you're listening to your customers. Don't argue with your customers, okay? If if they say that it's off-center, then it's probably off-center. Just, you know, get out of ruler, look and see, and, and don't be afraid to take the criticism. You know, I had to learn from Greg. I put the blinging thing on the mat, even though I'm a matless girl. So sometimes we have to eat humble pie and pay attention and listen, okay? It's, it's all right to do that. So I thoroughly enjoyed having you guys here with me tonight in the studio. I look forward to seeing you all in the Facebook group and in other folks' channels as the days goes. Um, but until then, I'm getting ready to fight with the lid of this cup on my own without y'all in here to witness the monstrosity. <laughs> All right, you guys. So thank you so very much. Um, I appreciate y'all. And so until the next time we see you guys, we hope you have an excellent night and happy blinging. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.